amazing recipe. I am so excited, yet another day, because today at the Young's house, Jeannie Young's gonna share with you all how easy it is to make ramen noodles delicious. This recipe right here, it's amazing. So easy to make, doesn't require a lot of ingredients, and if you make it Jeannie Young style, it's gonna be so tasty, hands down. Y'all never had my ramen. You better make you some. Here are the lovely ingredients you're gonna need. Of course, you're gonna need some ramen noodles. Now, this is the name brand that I love. Migoring is what I like to call it. If I'm saying it wrong, just laugh with me. I'm gonna be using three. We have a beautiful green onion. You can use snow peas or sugar snap peas. We got some Spam, y'all. If y'all ain't never tried Spam, give it a try, it's delicious. Parsley flakes to make it nice and beautiful. Soy sauce. We have salt-free Mrs. Dash. We got a nice egg here. Boil the egg, fry it, make it over easy. Make sure your hands are impeccably clean. Let's get started with this fun recipe, Jeannie Young style. I couldn't be more excited today to show you all how I like to bump up ramen noodles. Sometimes you get tired of ramen noodles. Just the plain old ramen noodles where you pour the seasoning pack in. Sometimes you need to do a little extra to make it taste delicious. Make it for lunch, make it for brunch, have it for dinner and or a snack. Do it this way. Okay, so we're gonna be using some green onions to make this dish nice and beautiful. Not only is it gonna make it beautiful, so we're gonna use it as a garnish. Not only is it gonna make it beautiful, but it's gonna give it a great taste as well. So we like to cut down the green part just like so in this manner. I'm gonna set it onto this platter. And the next thing that I'm gonna do is I'd like to talk about my sugar snap peas or your snow peas that you decide to use. Now, they went, this is what they look like. A lot of times you can grab this part right here and a string will come off, okay? Sometimes you have to fight with it a little bit, but you all can see the string that I'm pulling off. There, there it is, just like that. But just to be honest, you don't have to take it off. But I like to take it off because I feel like sometimes it can be a little bit woodsy, just a little bit woodsy. What we're gonna do, look at that, and see how that one came off? What we're gonna do is we're gonna saute these up just for a little bit. These do not have to cook for a very long time to make them nice and tender and juicy. And this is one vegetable. You don't have to cook the daylights out of them, okay? So I'm gonna continue to clean those just like so. And I wanna talk about what's in your packet of these beautiful noodles. Right here you have a sriracha, you have a really interesting sweet soy sauce, and then you have like an oil with all these beautiful spices in it. That's why I like that um, noodle. So we're gonna go in and I want Spam. My family loves, loves, loves Spam. Let me show you how I like to cut it. So I'm just gonna use a little bit, okay? Just like so. And guess what we're gonna do? I'm gonna fry that baby up. Ooh, we're gonna make kind of like matchsticks, so to speak. I think that's definitely enough. I hope y'all are having a great day today with God on your side. Somebody, anybody out there in the comment section, let me know when is the last time you had ramen noodles that were delicious. Jeannie Young's gonna show you how to do it. Look at this. So this is how I like to slice my Spam. We're gonna get this Spam. There's a little bit of green onion on there, but don't worry about it. It's all going down to the same place. Take a look in my pan here. I have just a tiny bit of vegetable oil in the pan. And what we're gonna do with this Spam is we're gonna cook this Spam until all sides of this beautiful Spam gets nice, beautiful, and golden brown. The inside will be juicy. It has kind of like a salty taste. It's beautiful in ramen. Meanwhile, I have some water over here boiling. You have to, wa you have to boil your water before your noodles go in. If you wanted to give a little bit more flavor, you can use any kind of chicken broth, a vegetable broth. When I come back, we're gonna get our noodles into the water and I wanna talk about how long you should cook them. Look at that, just a few minutes on these, almost as if we're stir frying them. You can hear that sizzle, it doesn't take long at all for these to get nice, beautiful and tender. Don't cook them too long. They're nice and sweet and they got a crunch to them. Look at the gorgeous color we have onto our Spam. Now, Spam isn't the only thing that you could use in your ramen. You could use the lunch meat if you like. Heck, you could put pepperonis in here if you wanted to. You know, really, you can. You can put tuna in here. Put what you love into your ramen. Look at this. 
We got spam matchsticks and it's tasty. You got a couple pieces of shrimp in your freezer, throw that in there. Okay, so now what we're gonna do, our water is nice and boiling. Let's get our noodles into the water or your broth, just like so in this manner. And what we're looking for is, at least what I'm looking for, I'm not a fan of the noodles that's overcooked. How I like to determine if my noodles are overcooked is the straighter the noodle, the more cooked the noodle is. I like for my noodle to be wavy like curly hair. Y'all know how my hair is when it's down, right? It's wavy, that's what I want those noodles to look like. That tells me that it's the perfect texture. Once it begins to lose its wave, it's, it's going to the mushy side. Okay, so the water's already boiling. What we're gonna do here in a second, we're gonna flip these babies over just like so. And literally, as your noodles are cooking, believe it or not, they do change a color just a little bit. That's your indication that they're almost done. Serve a beautiful egg, any kind of egg that you and your family love. Serve an egg over top of your noodles. I'm gonna crack this baby just like so. I got a little tiny bit of oil in my pan here, and I'm gonna be nice and gentle, just like so. Beautiful, nice, fresh eggs. So now let's take a peek and see if it's time to turn them. It is, and you can see that the color has changed. Look how bright the color is versus this color here. Let's go ahead and flip them over and get the other side of the noodles nice and cooked. You can see it's, it's still got that curl. That curl is what I'm looking for. I don't want no, mush, no mushy noodles over here. Take a look at this here. Gorgeous, they taste beautiful. Listen here, let's talk about what's gonna happen this Saturday, really interesting. This Saturday, 4 p.m., which is tomorrow, Jeannie Young's going live. Yes, I'm going live. I'm doing a whole live cooking session. And I'm gonna be showing you all how easy it is to make delicious lasagna. So what I'll do after posting um, this video, I'm gonna do a community post letting you all know the ingredients that you're gonna to need to pick up from your local market so we can cook together. It's gonna to be so much fun. What we do, we make the recipe, we pray together, we eat together, and then for a couple hours, we just chit chat for the rest of the Saturday. So I can't wait to see you all there. Be there or be square. It's gonna be so, so, so much fun. And we've planted more flour. Those of you um, that have watched and enjoyed my flower video where I was planting the flowers, we put some more in the yard. So I'm gonna show you all uh, what else we've done to the yard. Okay, so take a look here at our noodles. They are looking beautiful. Now I can go in and kind of move them around in such a way. I'm gonna put some beautiful parsley flakes, dry parsley flakes onto my egg here. Just a little tiny bit of salt and black pepper. And really quickly, this dish is gonna come together and you're gonna say, man, that is really some of the best ramen that I've ever had. The ramen also comes with um, a crunchy fried onion and the powder seasoning packet. I'm gonna go ahead and cut that open. Where, there it is. <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and cut this open and put it right into this here. You can put the, um, the crunchy onions in last if you want to. I like to just throw them in with the broth. Okay, great, great, great flavors that we have there. I need to cut this open a little bit. All right, when I come back, we're gonna blend everything together just like so. Oh, yep, there we go. <laughs> Woo! Noodles in the broth, going right into a nice, gorgeous bowl. All depending if your family member likes the broth. That's how much you're gonna determine if you wanna keep all that broth. I am gonna pour a little bit off. Just a little tiny bit. We don't want all that broth, but we do want a little bit, you know? Okay, oh yes, that's much better. And watch this. Simple. <laughs> you bet it is simple. Mm, mm, mm. That's it, Gina. <laughs> Girl, you something else. You are totally something else. Look at this. This is a sexy ramen. You want to share it with somebody? Share it with somebody. Let's throw a little bit of soy sauce. You have to have it. A little bit of Mrs. Stash gets to have it. You can mix it in as you go. <laughs> oh, wee. Listen, when I come back, this egg will be done. We're going to throw that gorgeous egg right on top, just like this. But only thing we're missing is our beautiful sauces. And what we can do is mix in the sauce 
when you get ready to eat, look at that. Oh, this is tantalizing. Oh, you never had it, Jeannie Young style. You better make you some. It's gonna knock your socks off. When I come back, we're gonna say an amazing prayer and you're gonna get that first bite. Look at that. Woo. Take a look at it, everybody. Jeannie Young's Easy Peasy Delicious Bumped Up Ramen. Make you some. Oh, wait, look at this. Heavenly Father, I'd like to thank you today for this beautiful meal. In Jesus Christ's name we pray. Amen. Amen. Once again, let's dive in. We can be more excited. Look at this. And now is when you take that oil, the sriracha, all oh, the, oh my goodness, you know what I'm saying. Oh, you know what I'm saying. Look at this. <laughs> Look at the seasoning, my goodness. Get some of this and get some of that. <laughs> you take a bite and let me know what you think about this recipe. God bless you all. Thank you all for watching. Good night. Make it some ramen.